Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn that how to read any nameplate on motors. Here I have a nameplate of motor on which every information is given related to this motor. Whenever we go to read any nameplate of motor, then first of all we see that motor is manufactured by which company. So you can see here it is written Siemens. It means that motor is manufactured by Siemens company. Now after this we will see motor is of which type. So you can see it is written AC induction motor. It means this motor runs on AC power supply which is of induction type. As you know that motors are of various types, the first classification here is DC and AC motor. Now there are various types of DC motors and various types of AC motors also. Motor which runs on AC power supply is mostly of two types, synchronous motor and induction motor. On the data plate of this motor, it is written AC induction motor. Here it is not mentioned that this motor here, whether this motor runs on single phase or this motor runs on three phase. If you want to know whether this motor runs on single phase or this motor runs on three phase, then for this you have to see pH here. Here pH which is written, it means phase. In front of phase, three is written. It means this motor here, this is a induction motor which runs on three phase AC power supply. However, by looking to voltage also, you can confirm that whether this motor operates on single phase or this motor operates on three phase. In front of voltage, here it is written 415 and a symbol is there. This symbol which you can see here is known as delta. In a lot of motors, no symbol is made here. Simply it is written voltage 415, which means motor will operate at 415 volts. But in front of voltage, if any kind of symbol is there, then you have to consider it. In front of voltage, if delta symbol is there, then it means that winding of motor need to be connected in delta. And after connecting it in delta, we have to provide operating voltage of 415. Besides in some of the motors, here star symbol is present. If star is made here, then you have to connect motor winding in star and voltage which is written here, you need to provide that voltage to motor winding. Now after this, we will see what is the power of this motor. That is, how much is the kilowatt. Here you can see it is written kilowatt oblique horsepower. Meaning of both kilowatt and horsepower is same, which is power. It means how much is the capacity of motor is described by power. In front of this kilowatt or horsepower, you can see it is written 30 oblique 40. Here 30 is the value in kilowatt and 40 is the value in horsepower. It means you can say motor is of 30 kilowatt or you can also say that motor is of 40 horsepower. Now we got that our motor here is of how much kilowatt or of how much horsepower. After this, most important thing we should know is ampere. That is how much current motor will take, we have to see this also. So here you can see it is written AMP. AMP means ampere or we can say current. When we run the motor on full load, I mean when we connect full load with motor, then in this condition, how much current motor will consume is mentioned here. So here in front of AMP, you can see it is written 52. It means on motor, if we connect full load, that is if we run motor on full load, then in this condition, 52 ampere current motor will draw. Now you have to see one more thing here, how much is the frequency of motor. For frequency, HZ is written here. Frequency here is 50 Hertz. As you know that in India, we use frequency of 50 Hertz. Now after this, we will see what is the RPM of motor. Meaning of RPM is revolution per minute. So you can see in front of RPM, it is written 1500. It means motor here, RPM of this motor is 1500. After this here, it is written PF. PF means power factor. As you know that motor is an inductor and whenever we connect power supply with inductor, then power factor lags. That is, it goes backwards. This motor we have, if we connect power supply with this motor, then power factor goes till 0.82. That is, value of power factor becomes 0.82. All these data we read till now, these all are basic things. That is, what all things you know, that only I read. After this, most important things which you don't know about, we are going to read these. So we will understand each one by one. First of all, you can see some digits are written here. Here you can see it is written 1LA02864SE41. In this way, some number is written. This number is known as order number. This serial number here, this serial number is a type of identification number. Suppose your motor here, frame of your motor got cracked. Now you need new frame. If you need new frame, then you need to contact to the manufacturer. Like here we have Siemens company here. 
So here what I will do, I will write email to Siemens company or by calling them I will contact. After this we have to tell we have a motor which is of 30 kilowatt and order number or serial number of this is this. When we tell serial number to the company then only they can send you the same part. If you don't tell the serial number to them you just tell them we have a motor of 30 kilowatt and we need a frame for this. If you even tell them the kilowatt then also you won't get the same frame. Because motor is manufactured in various ways. Your motor is of which type and how it was made, these all details are there in this order number or serial number. So through this serial number only we identify that our motor is of which type and what all parts are used in this. Now after this here you can see it is written IEC 60034-1. Here IEC which is written full form of this is International Electrotechnical Commission. It means it is an institution through which some rules are followed. And according to these rules only any equipment is designed. So this motor we have this is designed according to rules of IEC. In some of the motor it is written IS reference 325. Full form of IS is Indian standard. If on your motor it is written IS 325 then it means that this is three phase induction motor which is made as per Indian standard. Now after this here you can see it is written duty. Duty tells us that till how much time we can run this motor. That is continuously for how long we can run this motor. So here you can see in front of duty it is written S1. S1 means continuous. That is if S1 is written on your motor then it means that we can continuously run this motor. However there are various types of duty like S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7, S8, S9, S10. Duty is from S1 to S10. S1 means continuous duty. That is we can continuously run this motor. But if on your motor S2 is written then it means that for short time only we can run this motor. So on any motor duty is written which tells us that for how long we can run this motor. Now after this here is written IP55. What is the meaning of IP here? Look. Full form of IP is ingress protection. Ingress protection means that motor we have how much it is protected from dust and water it gives information about that. Like on our motor it is written IP55. If on your motor IP55 is written then first digit here I mean this 5 meaning of this is solid. That is inside of this motor how much dust can go or of how much mm solid material can go inside the motor it gives information on this. This first digit can be from 0 to 6. After this second digit here second digit tells us that how much water can go inside of the motor. It gives information on this. Second digit can be from 0 to 8. For any equipment highest protection is IP68. If on your motor IP68 is written then inside of motor neither water can go nor dust. Now after this here is written date. Date which is written here it means that in which year motor was manufactured. This detail is written here. Here in front of date 2019 is written it means this motor was manufactured in 2019. Now after this here you can see serial number is written. This serial number is there for identification. Like I told you before this order number here through this we get to know motor is of which type. Now what companies do they manufacture a lot of motors of same type. Now to identify these motors some numbering is done. It is like a name suppose your name is John or Williams in the same way for motors there is a serial number to identify a particular motor. Now after this here you can see it is written cooling. Cooling tells us that to cool down motor which method is used. In front of cooling you can see it is written IC611. It means this IC611 is a code which tells us that to cool down the motor which method is used. Friends there is a small mistake here I wrote IP on two places. Actually I made this data plate that is why a small mistake I did. That I wrote IP on two places so ignore this one. Now after this here you can see weight is written. That is how much is the weight of motor that information is given here. This motor we have weight of this motor is 140 kg. After this here you can see it is written KVA code. KVA code means that motor we have when we start this on starting motor how much KVA power it will consume. That information is given here. Here power consumption is written in code. Like here you can see G is written. What is the meaning of G? Let's understand. On your motor plate you can give KVA code from A to V. 
but some alphabets are not there. Like on your motor plate, you won't find KVA code as I and O and Q. This means except these alphabets, rest all are there in KVA code. Meaning of each alphabet is different. What is the meaning of alphabet? Let's understand. Like we just saw on our motor, KVA code was G. G means 5.9 KVA. That is, our motor is of some horsepower, we have to multiply this by 5.9. Motor we have is of 40 horsepower. When we multiply this with 5.9, then we will get 236 KVA. It means when we start this motor, then in starting, power consumed in KVA will be 236 KVA. Now after this, here you can see frame is written. Frame means that what is the dimension of motor. In front of frame, here you can see 286T is written. Here 286T, which is written, is a code. When we read this code, then we will get to know what is the dimension of our motor. Here frame size of motor tells us that motor here, foot hole of this, these two holes, what is the distance between these two holes. Along with this, it also tells us that what is the height of rotor from ground level. After this frame size also tells us that what is the length of the rotor, that is how much it is sticking out of frame. Here frame size is mentioned in two ways, first as per IEC code and second is NEMA code. Whenever you want to know the dimension of motor, that what is the dimension, then first of all you have to see as per which rule this motor was manufactured. According to IEC or NEMA, after this frame size which is written, I mean frame code, we will decode this. After decoding it, we get to know what is the dimension of motor. Now after this, here you can see it is written efficiency 86%. Here EFF or efficiency tells us that how much power this motor will give in output. You can see here I have a motor. If I want to run this motor then we have to provide electrical power supply. Now electrical power supply which we provide will not convert fully into mechanical power. In this motor here you can see these all losses will take place. So after these all losses in output we will get some less compared to input. How much less we get in output is what we get from efficiency. So here you can see 86% is written. It means electrical power supply which we will provide only 86% of this we will get in output. Now after this here you can see pole is written. In front of pole 4 is written. What is pole here? Let's understand this first. You can see some diagrams of motor is on screen. This part of motor, this one, this is known as pole. Winding is done on pole only. According to this pole, RPM of motor changes. Like you can see here, if in our motor, there are only two poles and frequency of motor is 50 Hz, then in this condition, RPM of motor is 3000. But if there are four poles in your motor, then in this condition, motor will be of 1500 RPM. In this way, if there are six poles in motor, then in this condition, RPM of motor will be 1000. It means more will be the pole, less will be the RPM. After this, here you can see it is written insulation class. This insulation class tells us that temperature of winding of motor, how much it can go up. That is, up to how much temperature, there won't be any effect on winding of motor. Motor we have, insulation class of this motor is written here. F. What is the meaning of F? Let's understand. Here you can see insulation class is written. There are total 7 types of insulation class. Y, A, E, B. F, H. Now as you saw, for our motor, insulation class is F. F which is written here, it means that we can take temperature of winding of motor up to 155 degrees Celsius. If temperature goes beyond 155 degrees Celsius, then in this condition, winding of motor will get damaged. Now after this, here you can see it is written AMB. Full form of AMB is ambient temperature. Now what is ambient temperature? Let's understand. See where we are going to use this motor and what must be the temperature at that place that is what must be the maximum temperature there that is mentioned here. Here 50 degrees Celsius is written. It means we can use this motor at the place where the maximum temperature of the atmosphere is 50 degrees Celsius. If temperature there is more than this that is up to 70 or 80 degrees Celsius then there you cannot use this motor. After this here you can see it is written service factor. In front of service factor, 1.15 is written. Service factor tells us that in overload condition, how much we can run this motor. That is, without causing any damage to motor, how much more load we can connect. For example, suppose we have a motor of 40 horsepower. And on data plate of motor, it is written service factor 
Now what you have to do, multiply value in horsepower with 1.15. Now this answer we get, this will tell us how much maximum load we can connect with motor. That is, how much maximum load in horsepower we can connect. Here 40 horsepower motor we have, on this we can connect maximum load of 46 horsepower. It is not necessary that we should always connect 46 horsepower load on this motor. If you always connect load of 46 horsepower, then your motor will get damaged. Now after this here is written grease. In front of this it is written Unirex N3. Here grease means that in bearing of motor which grease we should use that information is given here. However there are many types of grease. Among all these only Unirex N3 type of grease you have to use. Now greasing which we do after how much time we should do greasing we get this information through Relube hours. In this motor, after running it for 5800 hours only, we have to do greasing. Now what must be the quantity of greasing which we will do, that is how much greasing we have to do, this information we will get through grease quantity. In this grease quantity, two details are written, one is D and other one is NDE. Here you can see we have a motor, in this motor, at the rotor side, this one, this is known as DE side. DE means drive end and fan side here that is back side of motor here is known as NDE. NDE means non-drive end. Now as you know that in this motor on both the sides bearings are given. Now bearing on DE side and bearing on NDE side how much greasing we have to do this detail is given in greasing quantity. As you can see here it is written DE 90 gram. It means that bearings which are there on drive end side we have to do greasing of only 90 gram there. After this on NDE side bearings which are there we have to do greasing of only 70 gram there. After this you can see here it is written BRG. Full form of BRG is bearing. Now as I told you in the motor total two types of bearing are there. One on DE side and one on NDE side. Now which bearing is used on DE side this detail is written in front of D and bearing which is used on NDE side this detail is written in front of NDE. After this CE which is written here this is a logo. If you see this logo on data plate of motor then it means that it is certified from European conformity. That is standards which are made by European conformity this motor is designed as per these standards and through European conformity manufacturer has the license to design. That's it friends. Friends I hope you like this video. Friends if you like this video then do like share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.